Hey guys, how's it going? Jay here. And today is a take two episode day, which means I give you my second opinion on a product that has already been fully reviewed professionally. So this one is the Blue Sound Power Node, the new one, not the old one. I know it's a bit confusing. They have the Power Node, the Power Node 2i. Now this is the new one that I believe was released in 2021. Don't quote me on that, but it was recent-ish. Now, this review was written by Gordon Brockhouse, one of my favorite reviewers on Soundstage. And he's done a lot of wireless stuff, you know, active speakers, wireless systems, um, and all of that is about simplifying things, right? So Soundstage, simplify.com is where you can find his review. It was written on August 1st, 2021. Now, interestingly, three months after that, this has been passed around quite a bit. This was sent over to our head in chief, Doug Schneider, who writes for SoundstageHiFi.com. He's the head and chief of all Soundstage websites, including the Take Two series that we're doing right now. So he took a look at this and he's familiar with all the Canadian brands. You know, he's, he's been to manufacturers and stuff and he written a little nice you know, information about this unit here. So you can go check that out as well. And it's in the description. But today in this video, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna bring to the table, cause everyone seems to have reviewed this at some point, is basically my opinion about this product based on all the budget stuff that I've been reviewing lately and also where do I stand as someone who has used this on a daily basis. And yes, I've been using this on a daily basis. Quite excited about this product actually. Now to give you a reference, I'm not a big fan of powered products or all-in-ones. That's just not my thing, but this one hits a different spot because it makes it easy. It makes it easy, but it sounds pretty decent and that's what power node from blue sound has been doing you know the power node 2i was a streamer that has been extremely good small compact unit that does everything that is not fuzzy to deal with and that's the first thing when it comes to streamers or all-in-ones i don't want the interface to be fuzzy so we're still on that excellent platform the blue os or blue os whatever you want to call it and i've been using it 100%, I, I don't understand when some people say they have problem with the software. I haven't exper experienced that so far. Uh, I think it's very m minority of people. The majority of people that I know actually love this app. Let me know in the comment section what you have been experiencing if you've been using uh, their app. Cause it's just excellent. It's flawless, it connects right away. It just plays. There's no guessing game going on. In fact, I'll go for us to say, you know, if I were to go with a power node product, I don't really need Rune or any third party app because it kind of does exactly the same thing that I'm looking for. So for a product like this that is priced around just under $1,000, the platform works flawlessly, it connects flawlessly, and it does everything it should do as a streamer. And I'm perfectly happy with that. The sound is pretty decent as a streamer as well. The DAC built inside is a pretty decent DAC as well. And for under $1,000, I mean, I couldn't ask for more. In fact, on the newer Power Note, they have a more powerful processor built in as well as a more sophisticated DAC and a better power amplifier. And yes, you heard me right, this now has 20 watts more power. So whereas the previous generation had 60 watts, now the new one has 80 watts. So without a huge increase in price, we are now looking at a huge improvement in my books. Other than that, we get the touchpad here on the top and the little things like that that has been added to the new generation, you know, and the previous generation from, from my memory, it was around 900 US dollars. Now this is about 950 US dollars. So for about that kind of range, right, again, under $1,000, we're getting a lot of features in here, including a better performance all rounder on top of that for the new generation that just came out. So of course I'm excited. Now, that's not all. The most interesting thing about this unit is the fact that it has a very nice sound. If this had all the features in the world but sounded terrible, then I wouldn't even bother talking about it. Now I've been mainly using it with my ELAC speakers in my home theater. Now we will talk about why I was using it in my home theater anyways, but again, a little hint, it has a sub out. So that means you can have a subwoofer connected to it to augment that lower bass for home theater 2.1 purposes as well. In fact, I would love to see, you know, somehow Blue Sound implement a five channel version of this so that I can have a 5.1 or a 5.2 channel just, you know, for a small theater. It would be wonderful in a compact unit like this. 
But for now, two channel is what we have in here. We also get two optical inputs and analog inputs uh, via 3.5. However, we don't get a RCA input. So this is kind of troublesome for someone who wants to just add a phono stage to this all-in-one system. It would have been nice to see a RCA input or XLR input, but that may be asking a little bit too much here because technically speaking, you can use a 3.5 to RCA to do just that. But anyways, you should be mindful there is no technically analog inputs like RCA or XLR of sort. But the highlight and the good news is that it has HDMI eARC. And I repeat, HDMI eARC. This is something that I've been dying to see in products like All-in-Ones, you know, in just stereo integrated amplifiers, whatever it may be. Because let's face it, a lot of us are using this in our media entertainment room. Because let's face it, not all of us have man caves that we can use as audiophile, you know, man caves. You know, that's just not a practical thing for most people. So most of us are using this in a civilized environment where we have TVs or entertainment room, which means that it's vital to have something like, like the HDMI eARC, which can connect directly to your TV and then the connection is made. Now your TV and this is linked. Speaker output and sound is ready to be played out of your TV, music, whatever, you can even use your TV as a streaming device if you really wanted to. So it gives you options. You can use the Blue OS or Blue OS app that it comes with, which also works extremely well, but you can also use your TV. If let's say your wife or your family member or your kids wanted to watch TV, they can without having to come to you to ask for your phone that has your app. And by the way, that has happened to me a few times with my friends that come over, they go like, oh, why is there no sound? You know, how do I do this? But that became no longer a problem once I had this connected. And the sound is pretty decent. Out of this 80 watt amplifier, you're getting a pretty nice sound. Yes, it's not the best in the world. It's not going to beat a monoblock or standalone amplifiers, let alone a really good you know, solid state integrated amplifier or your tube amplifier for those tubies out there. But it gives you a decent enough sound that I can play with my Elex, that I can play a music when I'm alone in my theater room and I'll, I'll be still happy about it. Like I won't be thrilled about it, but it's music, it plays well, it has good bass, it doesn't feel like I'm losing too much. The only thing that I'll lose is probably the refinement, you know, the sound staging, the depth that I usually get in my man cave. But those are things that is sacrificed in media rooms anyways. More importantly, it's sacrificed for the right thing for the purpose of using this, which is convenience and very easy interface to work with and that connects your TV and you can play more than just music. And I think that's the really the key word here. This is more than just for music. This is for entertainment. This is an entertainment box. That's what I would call it. But don't get me wrong. Again, the sound is pretty impressive considering that it's under $1,000. But we have nowadays a lot of amplifiers, integrated amplifiers and so on under $1,000, like from Rotel, for example, and so on that performs really well as a preamplifier and amplifier. So of course, a unit like this is not going to beat, in terms of sound quality alone, a integrated amplifier that has only two functions. But this has more functions, it's for more entertainment purposes, as I've said before. So with that in mind, just a few years back, with a unit like this, a unit that has so many things built in, in a small, compact unit like this, really didn't sound all that great. Admittedly, it just sounded pretty terrible and I would have never bothered with it. Now, this is something I would buy for my entertainment room. Let's be clear, my man cave, this is not ready yet. Still, monoblocks, stereo amplifiers, even integrated amplifiers, that's built for sound quality alone under $1,000 still wins. 
However, this is quite impressive and it's built pretty well, sounds pretty good, it's a good all-rounder. For dollar for dollar, for under a thousand dollars, I don't think there's a unit out there that functions like this with this ease of use in terms of usability that packs this much sound quality and attention to detail in terms of the user capability in one box. So all that being said, this is a lot. This is a lot to take in. This is a lot of stuff here. And this is a small box. Just, just let that sink in for a minute. All the things I've talked about is about this one unit here. It's a lot going on. So it speaks value to me and you know me, I'm all about value. This, I think they nailed it. And they've been nailing it. Don't get me wrong here. It's not like this suddenly became like, whoa, they nailed it this time. No, they've been nailing it every single time. It's just that this time they've nailed it even further. So Blue Sound, absolutely, definitely have been doing a great job with all their products so far in my books. So with that being said, I'll leave it at that. And also just remember that the next episode of Take Two is always just around the corner. So make sure to subscribe for the next one so that you don't miss it. Until next time. <music>